Right. Five on your side reporter John Kosick is live inside the queue. John, there were a lot of long faces as fans left tonight, kind of like the air going out of a balloon. Exactly, Lee. They came to see a coronation and they leave with a sense of frustration. The fans here in the queue know that if the team would have rebounded at the end, the Pistons wouldn't have rebounded. But now the sleeping giant is awake. But even still, these fans say no one thing about us. We're not giving up. It defies the laws of math how 20,000 people can equal one team six man. But on this night, Cavaliers fans did their part to be the difference. It was so close, but it wasn't enough. This is very tough, man. I, can't, I mean, the Cavs needed to win here tonight, but I think that they'll still be all right for the ne next game on Sunday. Winning in Detroit is something few teams have done. The Cavs, though, are one of them. The fans are confident Lightning can and will strike twice. We beat them on Wednesday in Detroit. We can beat them Sunday in Detroit yes. on their own court. Right. We'll win it. Yeah. Obviously, no one wants to go into Detroit and win a game seven. But at the same time, they've shown a lot of, they've won, uh, they beat Washington in, on their court. It's not impossible. The fans will get their chance to make a difference from afar as the Cavs will open up the queue on Sunday so fans can watch this pivotal game seven on Q Vision. These fans say, save a seat. Oh, we'll be here yeah, Sunday. Right Hell yes. yes. Right oh, yeah. And the doors here at the queue will open at 2.30 for the pregame fan fest, and then they can watch the game on the big screen TV behind me, the queue vision. That game starts at 3.30, of course. But, oh, how we wish we were watching game one as opposed to game seven. Reporting live on your side at the queue, John Kasich, News Channel 5. We'll be with them all the way there. Yes. Thanks, John. Ted? Cavs fans in LeBron's